Good morning. This is Rick Gray. I wanted to go over real brief this morning the movie Groundhog Day, one of my all-time favorite movies. A lot of people watch that movie with Bill Murray and just see the comedy and get the entertainment out of the movie, but there's a lot more to it. It's a very deep and profound movie with a message that everyone should really hear and pay attention to. The movie is really about salvation. It's about personal development. And I want to walk you through the steps that Bill Murray goes through, his character Phil, in the movie Groundhog Day. You know, it starts off, he goes up to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, stays a little bed and breakfast, and the same day keeps repeating over and over again. If you've seen the movie or heard about the movie, you know sort of the plot is he can't get out of the same day. But listen and pay attention to the lesson. That's what I always like to look at when I watch movies. The lesson number one, he goes through, the first time it happens, he's confused. He doesn't know what's going on. He already went through this day. Uh, he doesn't know what to think about it. And so he goes through this stage of confusion, which turns into frustration. You know, he keeps going through the same day over and over again, and he doesn't want to do this. He doesn't want to keep reading the same lines in front of the camera. Uh, pretty soon he gets really frustrated with what's going on. And after frustration, after a little while, it turns into depression. He gets, you know, sad about it. He's hanging out with these two guys at the bowling alley one night. And he's depressed. He's like the same day over and over. Why couldn't I have repeated? And he talks about this day where he was in a beautiful island with a girl. And he's like, why couldn't I have that day over and over again? So he's sort of feeling sorry for himself. He's in victim mode. And one of the guys that he's with says, hey, well, if there's no consequences, we can do anything we want, right? So then he says, yeah, the heck with it. And he goes through this whole stage of, I'll just take advantage. If there's no consequences, if there's no tomorrow, I can do anything I want. So he you know, robs the money car. He actually goes after several different women. He just kind of lives life like there's no consequences. And who cares? Just the heck with it. Well, pretty soon he starts thinking, oh, if there's no consequences, I'm going to go after some girls. And pretty soon he says, hey, the girl I really like, though, is, you know, Andy McDowell, the one he works with. I'm going to go after her. He gets bored very quickly going after everybody else. And he starts to settle in and focus in on her and uses guile, tries to memorize what she likes, memorize her major in college. She was a French poetry major. And he goes on all this stuff trying to use tactics to win her heart. And he gets close, but he never really wins her heart. He can't quite get the dream girl, as you will. So then he becomes frustrated again and goes into real deep depression. Like, you know, I, I can't get what I really want out of this, and I can't get out of this, so I'm just going to end it. So he really goes into depression tries to kill himself. Well, that doesn't even work, right? I mean, there's no way out of this thing. After he really falls into deep depression, he finally realizes, if I'm going to be here anyway, I might as well help others. I might as well serve as many people as I can. So he learns a lot of great skills. He helps, you know, the old ladies with the tire. He helps the old gentleman who's homeless trying to save his life. Catches the kid who falls out of the tree. You know, he's doing things that are helpful to other people because, you know what? I can't get out of this situation. I'm bored with taking advantage of it. So I'm going to work on myself. Self-improvement, personal development. I'm going to improve. And in so doing, I'm going to improve the lives of everybody around me. When he really finally gets that, and he really embraces that in the end, then he gets the dream girl after all. But not through tactics, not through guile, not through trying to trick her, but through really coming from a servant's heart. So watch Groundhog Day again if you haven't seen it in a while. It's a great movie. And watch for these lessons. The movie is really about salvation. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed the talk today.